What's going on, Refielders? I am Jake Adams, and this Saturday at 2.30 Mountain Standard Time, we're gonna be hosting the second ever Reefstock at Home live stream. This is a new format that we are experimenting with to bring together segments and contributions from professionals and hobbyists across the hobby and across the industry and domestically as well as internationally. This Saturday, we're gonna be focusing a lot on Australian reefers, and I am gonna be contributing a segment on how to broadly, generically program your Reef Aquarium LED lights because this is one of the biggest requests that I get through emails, messages, and down in the comments of our videos. But before I can really dive deeply into how to program your Reef Aquarium LED lights, it's really important to kind of have a primer on what the different LED colors are for. So we've got different shades of white, a big range of blues, and some accessory colors that all together really help to make your aquarium as colorful and as successful as possible. So I really hope you enjoy this segment on basically explaining the different colors that are available in Reef Aquarium LED lights, because that's really gonna give you the background knowledge that you need to really, really make the most out of my next segment, which is gonna be, again, on the broad strokes of generically programming Reef Aquarium LED lights. And I'm not just gonna tell you what to do, I'm gonna explain why we're doing certain things so you're not gonna copy and paste, you're gonna really understand what it is you're doing with the programming and scheduling of your Reef Aquarium LED lights. So um, I hope you enjoy this segment on the LED colors. I can't wait to see everybody Reef Suck at home this Saturday at 2.30. What's going on, Reef Builders? I hope you're enjoying this new format that we're testing out for Reef Stock called Reef Stock at Home, as you already know. Um, for this segment, I wanted to talk about LED lighting colors and spectrum and how it relates to coral growth and coral coloration, because um, if you haven't had the uh, luxury of using LED lights from 10 years ago, where there was only a few colors and having them introduced slowly over time, it can be quite overwhelming when you uh, uh, fire up the first control app for uh, something like the Radeon Pro series of Reef Aquarium lights and you're presented with so many different color channels that uh, uh, you don't really know what to do with it. So I, I initially wanted to talk about programming Reef Aquarium LED lights, but I realized that in order to talk about the programming and some of the different uh, reasons for driving certain channels up and down. You kind of need to understand what the different LED colors mean. So um, I am going to use this particular aquarium to demonstrate using my bank of Radeon Gen 4 Pros uh, some of the different LED lighting colors and kind of what they mean. And this information is applicable to a wide range of reef aquarium LED lights. So let's get started. So the first LED lighting color that we're going to talk about is not really a color. It's called cool white. Now, there's no such thing as a natively white LED. White LEDs of all colors are made using a blue LED that are coated with a phosphor to produce a certain amount of light. Cool white is always the first choice for LED lighting manufacturers because it is the most efficient at uh, delivering brightness in terms of lumens per watt. So this is one of the biggest contributors to overall brightness, overall par. On its own, it, uh, on an aquarium, it might look a little bit greenish just uh, because of the inherent uh, minute film of algae that is growing on the aquarium surfaces. But you wouldn't really use this light on its own. Uh, however, it is the important foundation for creating a bright enough reef aquarium LED light that can then be supplemented with LED lighting colors. So the first actual LED color that we're going to talk about is blue. Uh, regular standard blue has an emission spectrum of around 470 nanometers, and that's going to vary based on manufacturer, but it is a crisp, bright, Windexy blue that uh, adds some degree of brightness to the aquarium while also bringing out a lot of fluorescence. This is an important stimulator of chlorophyll for driving photosynthesis, and it's really great at 
bringing out the fluorescent colors of yellows, greens, and some of the bright oranges that you see in aquarium corals. This was the first blue introduced into the aquarium hobby, and um, it's an important balance of the blue spectrum used on reef aquarium LED lights. So next up is royal blue. So royal blue, as the name implies, is a little bit more purplish. It's not as bright looking as blue. It has an emission peak, usually around 450 nanometers. But if I'm gonna pick one blue to drive on my corals, uh, royal blue is the best at bringing, over, bringing out uh, the fluorescence of different corals. Um, it doesn't bring out the greens and yellows quite as much, but it's gonna drive uh, the pink and some of the oranges a lot more than you might expect from a typical blue. But together, the blue and the royal blue is the uh, really good, important components for fluorescence in an aquarium. And cool white, blue, and royal blue are what I call the trinity. This is the foundation of reef aquarium lighting, and it's from this base that other colors were added to our palette of reef aquarium lighting colors. So the next color channel I want to tell you about is warm white. Warm white is one of the other critical components of a balanced reef aquarium lighting spectrum. On its own, it's very yellowy, and as the name implies, it helps to introduce a degree of warmth that balances out the very cool nature of a cool white LED, a blue, and a royal blue. And it's actually the only color channel that can help to bring out some of the purples and pinks, not the fluorescent colors, but the chromatic colors. And I'm thinking particularly of Stylophora, Poslopora, and pink bird's nest. Um, there's fluorescent pinks like you might see in this particular coral, but as you can see in under this lighting, it's actually not being brought out at all. This is the first color channel that I like to introduce with cool white, blue, and royal blue. The next color I want to tell you about is red. Now, a little bit of red goes a long way. It's an important driver of photosynthesis, so you don't want to overdo it, especially your deep water corals like scolemias, leptoceruses, chalices, lords. They're not used to being exposed to this degree of red. Now, there's two kinds of red. There's usually like a standard red at 630 nanometers. Um, this is a little bit of an orangey red, but nowadays the Radeon LE lights uses what's called a photo red, deep red, or hyper red. This is at 660 nanometers. And on its own, it, uh, it does drive some photosynthesis, but having it in a reef aquarium light is, again, not for the chromatic colors of the corals, but if you have a red flame angel, flame hawk, some pink anthesis, nothing is going to bring out those colors quite like the deep red found in radions. Um, in some instances, the colors of those fish might be so bright that it almost looks like they're fluorescent, but it's actually just really resonating with the pigments of those fish. Next up is the green color spectrum. This generally has an emission peak of around 525 nanometers, so a little bit brighter than your typical blues. Uh, the main reason to have green in a reef aquarium LED light is actually to balance out the red. Once again, you would never drive your greens all the way on its own, the same you would never run your red all the way on its own. Um, but green helps to keep the red from overpowering your aquarium. Also, it is one of the few color channels that brings out red fluorescence. So it's a little bit counterintuitive that red does not bring out red fluorescence. It brings out the chromatic red, but green is the color channel that really stimulates red fluorescence. Um, another uh, kind of angle on green LED channels is what's called cyan. And cyan is right between blue and green. This is included in the Radeon Gen 5s, and it, uh, it's really, really effective at bringing out the fluorescent colors of your yellows and your oranges. Nothing else is gonna bring it out quite like that. Um, and another style of greenish LED is called lime. Lime is actually not a pure color LED. It's a blue LED that has phosphors on it, but unlike the cool white or warm white, LEDs, the phosphors used in a lime LED are uh, only bring out a little bit of green. So it's kind of like a yellowish green to the tank. So again, a little bit goes a long way. 
All right, so now we get into some of the fun spectrum of Reef Aquarium LED lights, uh, ultraviolet LEDs. Um, for a long time, LEDs were not very good at producing ultraviolet spectrum, and they still aren't, because the UV that's used in our Reef Aquarium lights is technically what's referred to as near UV. So it's not the kind of stuff that's gonna kill bacteria and be germicidal in any way. And um, there's three general uh, colors of UV spectrum or near UV spectrum LEDs. There's a 395, 405, and 415. I'm not a big fan of the 395 and it's not that common in reef aquarium lights. It's kind of really dim and it doesn't really bring out that much fluorescence, so I don't know why they excluded. But the Radeon includes a 405 and a 410, uh, so these don't actually peak. They, they peak at 405 and 410, but the tail of each LED spectrum covers 400 to 420 nanometers. Together, these are the most black light looking uh, colors that you can include in your reef aquarium. Um, you also don't wanna use these too much on your deep water corals um, because a little bit goes on a long way, but um, definitely something to experiment with on uh, some of your fluorescent coral colors. Last but not least, probably one of the more exotic new LED colors to be introduced to reef aquarium lighting, um, especially with introduced in the Radeon Gen 4 Pro and built on in the Radeon Gen 5s is violet. Violet combines the best of the fluorescent pop you get from near UV LEDs and some of the brightness you're going to get from blues. Uh, violet typically has an emission peak of around 430 nanometers and it is, again, I'm going to say it again, this is one of my favorite color channels and I want to see it introduced and included uh, in higher quantities in uh, reef requirement of LED lights because it's the closest thing that we have to uh, old school actinic O3 fluorescent lamp. This was the first uh, color that reef aquarium hobbyists, myself included, um, that brought out the fluorescent coral colors of coral. So before that, metal halides and regular fluorescent lamps were just white broad spectrum and they didn't bring out that fluorescence and violent really brings me back to the old days. So I hope you've enjoyed this segment on the different attributes and characteristics and properties of reef aquarium LED lighting colors. It's really going to be up to you to determine uh, how to dabble in each of these colors to produce a balanced spectrum in your aquarium that either optimizes growth or enhances coloration. But most of us want a good even mix of corals that are very colorful and also grow very fast. So I hope you're enjoying reef stock at home and uh, I guess we'll get on to the next segment.